yeah, we played Doctor Phil Six Botland <laughs> and we were completely smashing double lift coach J that like double lift wrote to me on Twitter like after the game, wait, is this actually a fee or are we just really boosted? <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't take it serious. Hey guys, it's Perks here and today I'll be watching and ranking some of my best plays over my career and they are all submitted by you guys, the fans, so let's just get on with it and have some fun. ...to make plays on the bottom side to secure this bot lane tower, that obviously after the removal of Baker, I think, mid lane. Here comes a play on the Baker, exhaust his on, keeps oh. away from the wall, not quick enough to get slow, there's a flash to chase, first blood into Perks! ...to the top side as he gets to reset. And this man, you know, Perks here has been the star for the team at this tournament. Drake is able to get through the very end of that acceleration game, by the way, to get into range here. And Perks, no hesitation, flashing over blind. Yes. This was actually meta where Cassiopeia was really strong. And I had played like Fizz against Cassio in scrims, and it was really hard for me to play the game. And I was getting really like smashed by Faker in scrims that one day. Uh, like it was really like... Uh, abusing the knowledge he had. And then uh, I had played some one ones just to figure out, like I know I started like Doran Shield because it was blocking like target damage back then. And um, <clears throat> I had a lot of confidence going into the game because I had played one ones beforehand, this exact matchup. And uh, I thought I could, like I, I was a confident player. So I, I, had, I had a lot of confidence facing Faker and I wanted to prove myself kind of, yeah. That was like after the year where I had poor international performances, 2016. I started having really good international performances this year. Like I am um, MSI and the Worlds were all quite good for me. Uh, I mean, considering I was, um, I had a bad, bad performance the year before. <clears throat> and uh, it was against Faker, who was like by far the scariest player to face back then. Um, and I was just like a rookie. Kind of like I would put this. I would put this play in like an S tier. I think it's it's a it's a good play. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe it's like A tier because <clears throat> I missed the first Q, so it wasn't like played perfectly. But I, I, I let's just let's just put it here for now. Maybe I'll move it down or up later on, right? I, th I think I think my rise is bad and my zero is worst. Like has to be my favorite meme uh, because it's just like such a it's, it's just such a funny meme. Honestly, like it's a really good one. Uh, and it's like those two were like one of my well, rise, my rise winner just dropped a bit, but they, they were like my highest winner champs back then. <laughs> so it was it was kind of funny, right? And I think my zero is still pretty high winner, and it's pretty good. So uh, I, I like I like those I like those wins, yeah. To generate enough pressure, he needs to play an aggressive game to try and shut. Ooh, potentially. Nolte is checking the brush. Going to be hit by the ignite there, trying to get himself away. Paranoia coming in. Damage goes through, but the stasis is going to be keeping that mid laner alive for now. Yanko's trying to get himself away. Flashes over the wall, going to be immediately picked up there by Zeros. Perks could be in a lot of trouble now. Doesn't have the Shroud available, trying to get himself away. Kama spinning, but PVB winning the fight. They're still trying to catch up on this one. Shroud comes back down. Perks still going to be looking to get himself around this one. Trying to outplay, buying as much time as possible. The oh, no, champion cool. is so evasive, and Big Coral goes in to find himself killed. A beautiful stasis from Perks. Perks. And G2 have the outplay. And G2 finally find a fight that goes in their favor. So this, this one was like, it's interesting because we were like, what, 6k down and they had 4 dragons, which were really OP at the time. Uh, so, uh, like, we had to make a comeback play somewhere. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm looking at like the context of the play. I think the play was pretty crazy. Um, I, I, I'm like, obviously, like, I think this is a really good play, uh, but I, I'm... Uh, I'm looking at the mechanics of my first initial play and it's like back then <laughs> Akali had just got released so like nobody really knew how to play Akali and Akali is a really f complex champ so like looking at this Akali like how I started off the fight it's like it's like so old you know like it's like <laughs> it's like so five years ago uh, but it's still it's still fine uh, it's just like the mechanics on the ult uh, could be better, uh, like using ult E and stuff like that. But back then, like nobody was actually doing that, <laughs> so I don't like I don't like blame myself. I think in like season nine, spring, 
like people started becoming really good at Akali in competitive games and stuff. But yeah, back then it was just it was just released, so I, I will I will give myself a pass on that. <laughs> Akali was obviously really balanced back then. <laughs> Looking at it, it's kind of funny. Uh, I would probably have to, uh, like for now at least, like. I mean, like the both plays, like I misplayed something. Like looking back at it, right? I'm not like too happy with them. So maybe like I would, I would put it like, I mean, the play is like the like the context of the play is like really crazy because it's like, yeah, we were really behind, and probably if we lost this game, we probably wouldn't make it out of groups as well. So like maybe the play is S tier, but like the mechanics on like the first part of play would like be like A tier. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I will like. Yeah, but then like if I compare it to the Jace play, mm, the Jace play was like also misplayed. So it's it's hard it's it's hard to say. Let's just keep it for here for now, and then the other plays I see, I will like uh, I'll be able to judge it. Skirks has got himself the Luden's Echo, and here comes MLXG. He's still got that Rift Herald, looking. but Link's death sentence goes wide. The box goes down. Uzi jumps in. Here comes MLXG. Defensive flashes. Yankos has already killed him. Now this. Yankos is turning it back around. Defensive flash from Uzi. Teleport's coming down. Comes Perks. To find out. Perks blows up RNG, and G2 win the fight. This fight. organization has made it to quarterfinals, and they are in game five with RNG. And for the vast majority of this, ball oh, Perks! So, so close, the Ignite is ticking, that is the it! Perks is godlike, with the help of Jan and Wendy. Now they turn their attention on to Let Me, he's just gonna get run down. The wards! He's find the Lancer, the onto his stone. <laughs> A death sentence finds its mark, but it doesn't matter. 11 kills to one, G2, they are gonna do it! I mean, this is pretty nice, yeah. I think I, I played this, I played this quite well. Like, I, I yeah, I combo very well. Uh, it was pretty fast, like there was nothing they could do, maybe Nocturne could flash, but I was too fast for him. Even if he flashes, he would die. So yeah, I, I like this one. This is like, kind of like getting momentum. And this was like more of like an ego play, honestly. Like, I don't really get anything by doing this skill, but you know, at this point, when it's like game 5, and when, when it's like all on the line, you know, like it's not even about what is the best like statistically it is about what makes enemies feel the most pressured like this is kind of like a show of dominance right if if i can do this to him while he's farming his midwave then what else can i do to him you know <laughs> it's it's more kind of like that right this plays like i mean this i don't know if the play is better maybe the other two plays were like as plays they were like more impactful but the whole game is like the whole play as well right so maybe i would put this one in like a in like a umayan tier even though I was playing Midland, it was like a pretty pretty clean play. Like th so this one for sure has to be better than like Jace and Akali. So either I would put Jace and Akali in A tier, and then a blank in S tier. Because like th this game I was just playing much better than the other two. Um I think it's LeBlanc is like one of the champs I have played since basically even when I was an AD carry player, I've always liked LeBlanc. I could say LeBlanc is probably like it's probably my favorite champion or maybe my best champion. I, I think my LeBlanc is really 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 good <laughs> like i usually like i i don't really remember like I, I can remember having bad games with many champs but i honestly don't really remember having bad games with leblanc like i actually just like always play well on it so yeah leblanc is probably the champ i am most confident on like historically or like happy to play uh always in every situation so it goes with the fact that i've played it for so long so yeah i think that's kind of it i, I played it for so long and i really like the champion and it allows me to, I guess, kind of express myself in the game. Uh, how do you say, I'm this uh, cocky brat, like this outgoing person. So I can really ego on enemies with my uh, distortions in game, right? Like I can really like play with their, play with their mind more than with other champions. And especially against something like a cannon, it means you can sustain up a little bit more. So Yankos was starting to channel his back. Cold has been spotted an award. They're going for that 2v2. You talked about how powerful the Jarvan Cinder are. Well. Oh, 3v2. Teleport comes in straight away. And now Cold is spotted out. Yankos there already. Perks trying to get the catch onto Cold here. Cold Ooh. dodging around as much as he can. The root still lands. The flash from Perks. The chase potential. And G2 strike first. This is a G2 move if I have ever seen one. I've, I've, had, I've had many, uh, many Zaya plays. That I that were good. This one is definitely a special one because it's like <laughs> you don't often see a AD carry like TPing on you <laughs> level three. 
<laughs> like enemy enemy jungle is going for a gank mid and enemy AD carry is just TPing to counter gank him. Like that that is like that doesn't happen very often. So I remember here I really wanted to kill. Like because I, I like I had put so much effort of mine to like to do this, right? Like I push the wave, I base, I TP here, and like I I use my own flash as well, just so I, I get the root off. Like I flash to block his Q and get the root off. So like I remember here, like I cancel this auto attack, like I don't use this auto attack and wait for cups to use every spell and then I auto attack in the end just to get the kill. Like this is also like a pretty big part of this of this clip that people don't, maybe don't see the f at first, right? Because I thought to myself, oh, I really need to get this kill uh, for, for doing all of these things for, for, for them, right? So yeah, I mean this play, this was like, uh, this is a play made by Umayyan, so it has to go into the Umayyan tier because uh, no other AD carries, at least at that time, uh, would do that. Like I don't think I've, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do that. Uh, like not even like <laughs> boosting my own ego here. But <laughs> uh, Umayyan was Umayyan was built different, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, it will go into Umayyan tier. It's possible. Like I won't promise anything. You never really know what the future holds. Like I've said so many things in the past. Like I will never do this. I will never do this again. And I've done it again. Uh, so I don't really know, right? <laughs> you, you know, I feel like my career is just like somewhere like halfway through, probably. So I still have a lot of things to do, maybe. Going to connect. It hits, but it will not secure any follow-up. Keep an eye on the cap stun. Ooh, he messes up the execution. Baits it out though. Clint had to go up into the air, and it doesn't matter if he messed it up because Clint is still going to go down. But Con right to the backside. Caps goes golden. There's no one else to follow up. Con's damage doesn't matter. But the ulti comes out in such a close exchange. For now, they're winning, but Perks is coming in. This is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of Team, this could be the game. He gets the, the fight moment. Baker is gone. Teddy's next on the list. There's no way he can duel Yasuo. Amada's coming in, but he's just walking into the meat grinder of Perks. Con can he do it? Perks. It's not enough. They've done it. They're gonna lead you. Con can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir. They can't do it. This is it. The greatest team in the history of League of Legends taken down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced. FPX, get ready. G2 is heading to Paris. No, this game was a banger, yeah. I'm 1 and 6. I mean, I'm like 100 CS up on enemy to carry. So I was doing something right probably in this game. But I remember I was like inting fights a lot beforehand. Like I would just go into deep. I mean, yeah, my, my mechanics are pretty good in this play. Like, it wasn't it wasn't really hard to do, I guess, because you just needed just needed Miki to deliver me in. Remember, I was screaming, Miki, 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 many, many, Miki, 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 and then he just eat him, and he got one shot. At. I mean, it's it's like kind of funny because I I like I gap closed so much. <laughs> Looking at it, I actually like I went from my base to like my red buff in like two seconds. <laughs> It's just it's just so convenient. Like some some plays, they're just like they're just made to be to be made, you know. Like Faker was just on the top of the plant just so I can kill him and take the plant right after <laughs> to kill enemy uh, enemy AD carry as well. And the Raptors are for some reason up as well, even though SKT was like in our jungle before the play. Like the Raptors are just like they're just up just so I can dodge the Vladimir red Q as well. Like <laughs> like for some for some reason that they're, they're they're just up as well. So. I think yeah, the, the play is like <laughs> the play is pretty crazy, uh, given the fact I was one and six as well. Uh, it was like the, the Yasuo power spike everybody talks about, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, it was definitely it was definitely a funny play. Uh, I think like, I'll put it in S tier. Like this one is the funniest. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah the Yasuo play is the, for sure the funniest. Uh, I think the LeBlanc game was the best one. The Zaya play is the weirdest. And then the Jason Akali, they were like, um, they were like, they were not bad as well. <laughs> yeah, I think when I was going Botlan, I I was aware I'm going to play um, off meta stuff, or because that the year before in season eight, like people have already started playing mages uh, because the stats were changed, but then they, they got buffed again, right? So people stopped playing them. But I thought they still had a place in, in the in the bottom as well. And Miki was a very open-minded person. Uh, like he's a very happy, happy support. So he, he likes to play with the weird <laughs> Like he, he likes that. Like he, he just likes creating plays and being able to like do something that's off meta. So I think we, we kind of meshed really well in that part. 
but it's actually really funny that like my, like the, the games that we lost the hardest were the ones I was playing like mages or even Yasuo. Like this, this is the only okay, not only I went two two with Yasuo the roles, and the other two games I lost, I had like really hard grief them. Like I was completely useless. And this one is just like, it's kind of like lucky in a way. Okay, not lucky. I mean, this game we did kill them both too with level two as well. Yeah, maybe it's unlucky. I did definitely had a place, but they were really not as good as people maybe thought I made them seem or like I like abused them. But they were not that strong. Like our highest win rate was actually like playing like Zaya, Kai'Sa, uh, Varus, and yeah. Like, I don't know what else I played, Lucian. Like, I, I don't remember what exactly I played that year. I don't know, dude, we played, like, we, we played so much Lothlin. I don't even know how our team, like, dealt with us. Like, I actually, like, if my Lothlin was playing so much stuff, like, we did, like, I would actually be, I would actually be tilted. Like, yeah, we played Dr. Fiddlesticks Lothlin. <laughs> and we were completely smashing Doublelift Coach J, that, like, Doublelift, wrote to me on Twitter like after the game, wait, is this actually of me or are we just really boosted? <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't take it serious. Like that was actually I mean, I don't know, we played so much like we played like everything you name, we probably already played it, but like we would play the combos, people would like write on Reddit because Mickey would be like, oh look, look at this combo. Maybe we can try this out. And some of them were actually not even bad. Uh I don't know. I remember like we played like Yumi Rakan once because we thought like, oh, Rakan can jump and Yumi can jump. So like, they have to be good together. <laughs> that was like the worst thing we've ever played. <laughs> that was the worst thing we've ever played in our lives. I mean, we also played like Blitzshank Yumi. Like, I don't know, we played like, I don't know, we played, I mean, we played a lot of things. We even played like Garen Yumi, but like reverse. Like, I was the Yumi and Miki was the Garen. <laughs> like, we played, like, we actually griefed our team so much in scrims that uh, I don't even know how we won all the titles actually. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending all this plays over. Let me know how I did in the comments below. I will see you all later. Hopefully it rolls.